impacts our entire life. But we need to know how to do it. We need an exercise, we need a framework to learn how to be more mindful. That's essentially what meditation is. It's familiarizing ourselves with the present moment. But we also need to know how to approach it in the right way, to get the best from it. And that's what these are for, in case you've been wondering. Because most people assume that meditation is all about sort of stopping thoughts, getting rid of emotions, somehow controlling the mind. But actually, it's quite different from that. It's more about sort of stepping back, sort of seeing the thought clearly, witnessing it coming and going, emotions coming and going without judgment but with a relaxed, focused mind. So for example, right now, if I focus too much on the balls, then there's no way that I can relax and talk to you at the same time. Equally, if I relax too much talking to you, then there's no way I can focus on the balls. I'm going to drop them. Now in life and in meditation, there'll be times when the focus becomes a little bit too intense and life starts to feel a bit like this. It's a very uncomfortable way. To live life when we get this tight and stressed. At other times, we might take our foot off the gas a little bit too much, and things just become a little bit like this. And of course, in meditation, we can end up falling asleep. So we're looking for a balance of focus, relaxation, where we can allow thoughts to come and go without all the usual involvement. Now, what usually happens when we're learning to be mindful is that we get distracted by a thought. Let's say this is an anxious thought. So everything's going fine, and then we see the anxious thought, and it's like, oh, I didn't realize I was worried about that. You go back to it, repeat it. Oh, I am worried. Oh, I really am worried. Wow, there's so much anxiety. And before we know it, right, we're anxious about feeling anxious. You know, this is crazy. We do this all the time, even on an everyday kind of level. If you think about the last time, I don't know, you had a wobbly tooth. You know it's wobbly, and you know that it hurts. But what do you do every 20, 30 seconds? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It does hurt. And we reinforce the storyline, right? And we just keep telling ourselves. And we do it all the time. And it's only in learning to watch the mind in this way that we can start to let go of those storylines and patterns of mind.